welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. What you just heard and watched, if you're watching on YouTube, is the trailer for The Salvaged Brute. Again, it has been fully funded, as and they've officially put it out on their social media after I recorded my episode last night. And they say the Salvage Brute has been fully funded. Jump into the pilot seat and take the fight to the cube monsters. And more specifically, uh, uh, as I noted last night, uh, the Salvage Brute at Pleasant Park is now fully funded. Jump in game now and take down some cube monsters. So uh, that's where you're going to go to find uh, the Salvage Brute. Uh, and I'm sure uh, we're going to start seeing it uh, in other places as well. Uh, today, we also have our next uh, Nindo challenge, uh, and today is the Sakura task, so you get just one point, and you will earn yourself the Sakura uh, emoticon, and uh, for this one to earn a point for every 100 uh, damage dealt to opponents will earn you one point. The point milestone of the day is 100 points. So you have to get 100 points in total uh, for this challenge. Uh, if you didn't get the glider yet, that's what will earn you the glider. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. No, no, no. Of course, how could I forget? Uh, the next piece of news that I have is is uh, the more information about the radio collab, Radiohead collab that uh, Fortnite or Epic is doing uh, with Radiohead. Unlock free Radiohead items in Fortnite based on the Kid A Amnesia Exhibition experience. In celebration of the Kid A Amnesia e Exhibition, presented by Radiohead and Epic Games and developed by Name the Machine and Arbitrarily good product productions, Fortnite players are able to unlock in-game items based on the experience. Kid A Amnesia ex Exhibition is an upside-down digital analog universe created from original Radiohead artwork and recordings to commemorate 21 years of their Kid A and Amnesiac albums. The experience is available to download for free on PC and PlayStation 5. Uh, let's see. Uh, free Radiohead lobby track and loading screen. Players who download the Kid A Amnesia exhibition on PC or PlayStation 5 will receive the Radiohead lobby track in their Fortnite locker. This track is Untitled V1 from the band's anniversary triple album release of the same name, Kid A Amnesia. No, if you're downloading Kid A Amnesia Exhibition on PlayStation 5, make sure your PlayStation account is linked to your Epic account to receive the Radiohead Lobby Track. After downloading the Exhibition on PlayStation 5, you must log into Fortnite on your PlayStation 5 to receive the Lobby Track. Also, from November 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern on November to November 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern, on all platforms, the Land of the Freedom loading screen will be available for free in the item shop. This special loading screen is based on the iconic cover art of the Kid A album. We hope you enjoy the immersive visual and musical world of Kid A Amnesia Exhibition. And I got to thank Dusky for already sending me the loading screen. Again, it is uh, free, so uh, especially if you know somebody... Uh, that it's not going to be able to get on right away, and that this is something they would really uh, appreciate, then uh, make sure that you uh, gift it to somebody who won't be able to get it, who, who won't be able to get it uh, on time. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people uh, from my generation are going to uh, want uh, that, you know, the lobby track and the loading screen. Uh, some people consider uh, some of these albums the best or like the greatest rock albums of all time. I do uh, love Radiohead, so I do love them. <laughs> uh, I don't think their albums uh, are the best rock albums of all time, but I actually do love Radiohead, so uh, I'm really excited about this. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, now that's all I have for news for you today. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on in the LTMs today. We have the Hidden Leaf, Ad uh, Hidden Leaf Village Adventure. Uh, the floor is Lava, Horde Rush, Boogie Zombies, Zombie Adventure, Uptown Road Rush. Uh, we got stuff like Finest Realistic 3v3, Earn Hype. Uh, Twins Realistic 4v4, 18.40 update. Uh, we have Pro FFA Arena, uh, Clan 2v2 Build Fight, Serpent 1v1 or 2v2 Build Fights updated, uh, and a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab. Let's head on over to the item shop and see what we got going on in this item shop today. I've, I've already seen some stuff uh, on social media, and this is one I'm really excited about. Uh, so look, we got that Fortnite Mega Masters pack back. We have all of the Naruto items uh, still here and bundles still here. The uh, Fortnite Championship Series uh, items still here. Again, that Land of the Freedom loading screen. Uh, again, for free uh, is here in the item shop. Uh, get it while it's here. Uh, again, just until the 22nd. Uh, we have the Master Minotaur outfit with the Bull Shield back bling for 1,500. The Tower Recon Specialist outfit for 800. The Windmill Floss emote for 500. The Mime Time emote for 500. The True Heart emote for 800. The Staff Stand emote for 200. Uh, we get the Zone Wars bundle, which has the Danger Zone outfit, Hot Zone outfit, and the Starcrest Flux back bling for 1,600. The Hyper Edge Harvesting tool is 800. The Guff outfit with the Fluffle Bag back bling is 1,200. The Guffy Stuffy back bling is 400. The Regal Floof Harvesting tool is 800. Sizzle Sergeant outfit is 800. The Grill Sergeant outfit is here for 800. The Sizzling Emote is 800. And then we got a whole bunch of Ghostbusters items, okay? So we got uh, the gear. You have the Proton Pack for 400 V-Bucks. The Ghost Trap Back Bling for 400. The Proton Pickaxe Harvesting Tool for 800. The Electo Glider Glider for 1,200. Uh, and then you can get this all in a bundle uh together uh for i already own the proton pack so i can get this for 1400 uh, somebody would uh i can't do the math in my head you get a thousand v you get it for a total of thousand v bucks off uh total it looks like uh so uh pretty awesome uh bundle there again you can get all of the characters the different character models that they have for 800 V bucks each. None of these are the actual characters from the movies. These are the same ones that came out last year. Uh, so they're just like Ghostbuster themed uh, Fortnite characters, but pretty awesome. And they go really well with the stuff. So those are 800 each. Uh, and then you can get the bundles, which are 2000 each, which is 2000 total off. If you wanted all of the males or all the females. And then we got a new emote I ain't afraid emote. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Oh, this is 300 V bucks. It's traversal. Uh, you know, I can't play the music for you here, but you know the song. You're going to love it. I'm definitely getting this emote. I mean, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Uh, I'm going to be using that, that one all the time. Uh, but that looks like everything in the item shop so you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m m m i k i e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show okay so uh, i saw this tip in the day uh, or of the day in the discord i saw dooski was saying that uh if you are trying to get the today's nindo challenge done ee, you know what Forget that, because <laughs> what I am about to say, uh, and I'm realizing what time I, I'm home now, and w by the time this was recording, uh, there's not going to be enough time for you to get the challenge done. But uh, 
hopefully you guys were able to figure it out on your own that <laughs> you could uh, deal damage to IO guards, and that counted for today's Nindo challenge. Uh, but yeah, by the time you're hearing this, is probably probably irrelevant to you because there's only 14 minutes left <laughs> at the time of this recording. Uh, so, uh, shoot, yeah, I forgot that uh, this ends earlier than most. You know, most of the time, a lot of the challenges don't end until like the morning of the next day. It's kind of unusual that this challenge ends in the middle of the night. So, yeah, I guess I don't have a, a, t a real tip of the day uh, set up for you, but just maybe be aware that that is a possibility. If we get any more challenges that you have to deal damage to opponents, that it will count if you do it to IO guards. From what I understand, it didn't. It doesn't work against cube monsters, but um, you know, dealing damage to uh, IO guards will work. Uh, all right, that's going to be the episode for today. Make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.